What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be working on the Toyota Supra painting the brake calipers to a different color. So currently they're in the factory color, which for a premium model, you get red Brembo brakes as you can see. They have a really good look to them. I like how they look on the bronze wheels, but we're changing the color to a little bit different way. So here is the color we're going, white. I am painting the brake calipers white. Now, what I actually ordered is called Super Wrap. It's a sprayable vinyl. I found this on Amazon. Uh, it should be 100% removal. It shouldn't damage anything. I was going to actually paint the calipers white, but with paint, you know, you're never gonna go back to factory. It is gonna, of course, ruin the factory red. And I didn't really want to go to all the time, effort, and cost to 100% paint these white because I wanted to still retain that factory red underneath because it's a really good high quality paint job as you'd expect. And then I didn't want to actually vinyl wrap them because I've seen that before and you see lines and stuff and it just doesn't cover that well. And then I didn't want to use Plasti Dip because the satin white um, I think it would absorb all the brake dust and I don't think it would look too good. So with this super wrap stuff, hopefully it's good. I've never used it before. Like I said, I just found it on Amazon. I'll have this all linked down below in the description. They had like 30 different colors. So hopefully it's a good product. Of course, if you're seeing today's video, it is a good product and I would recommend it. But this should be the answer to the exact color and uh, type of paint job that I want on this car. It's removable when the time comes. But yeah, we're going to white calipers. And on Amazon, I also found Brembo stickers in red. So that'll be a good contrast. And this kit comes with two cans and a cleaner kit, which is pretty cool. And then now, before I actually do this, I'm going to test out the product. And this is probably a first. I'm gonna be testing the product on the Audi R8 brake caliper. This is from Mike's 2010 Audi R8. When he bought the car, he had to get one replaced under the dealer warranty just because it was leaking. And since I don't wanna actually ruin the factory finish on the stock ones, we're gonna use this since it's of course pretty much the same material, the same type of paint, and see how well this comes off. All right, so that is three coats. It is already looking extremely good. Like that finish actually looks like an OEM paint. All right, so it is the moment of truth now. Let's take a look at how the coating looks all dry. Quite honestly, it looks really good. It's nice and liquidy looking, like nice and glossy. And touching it, it is just as smooth as the factory paint on a caliper. So I think the sticker should stick fine. Now, let's see if we can peel this off. Look at that. And this is like three coats, so it's very thin. I'll do more on the Super, but look at that. Oh my gosh, I am pumped. Perfect. Well, here is the final look at the red caliper with the white Supra. I really do like how I did this. That was a pretty nice touch. And I'm just gonna clean these up and then get the Supra logo off. So at this point, everything is taped up for the driver's side of the car. I think it came out really nicely. I got the paint pretty much taped off up front. You can see I have all the green um, covering up all the rotor and everything in these cracks here. So that should be good. That piece is all taped up and then the silver piece in the center. So we should be good up front. This is a very simple one. The rear one is actually a little bit harder to tape up. We have the floating caliper. So I did the best I could to get the brake pad actually taped up. So I might have to maybe wipe my finger in there or something to peel off some of the excess, but it looks pretty good overall. So with everything taped up and clean, I'm gonna continue shaking up the liquid vinyl wrap stuff. And it is about time to change these to white. So let's start painting.
So I finished up about five coats on the calipers. They look so good. This finish actually looks like high quality powder coating or paint. As you can see, that is really, really good looking. Completely covered up the red, and as you already saw, I didn't do any primer or anything like that. You know, a base coat or anything like that. So just the white on top of the red. Look at how good that's looking. Oh man, so now we're going to unwrap all of the paper, get the tape off, and see what they look like. There might be some areas I need to touch up or something, but overall, they look really good. I think the quality of the finish looks OEM, and the fact that this is 100% removable, it'll probably be a pain in the butt to remove, but I'm sure there's some spray cleaner I can do. But let's get this thing all off. All right, so all the taping is now off and I've already gone ahead and put on the Brembo sticker. This dries like a paint finish. I'm super impressed. It doesn't feel like rubber or soft. It actually feels like a paint would. So now, hopefully this adheres fine and doesn't peel off the new coating. And that will complete this one front brake. And they are coming out so good. I'm just peeling this off super slowly because I don't want to ruin the white, but I am thoroughly impressed. And then using a Q-tip, which has been a really good tool for this, I'm just going to make sure the sticker's all the way laid down. And that is looking so good. That literally looks like it came out of the factory like that. I am so impressed. With all the tape off of the rear, I do have to do some touch up. You can see a little bit of red poking out right there and on this back piece. This is much harder to tape up than the front. There's a lot of weird contours. So one thing really cool, as you can see, there's a little bit of overspray. Being this is a removable paint, I'm actually gonna take a flathead all I have to do is just scrape it right off. It just peels right off, and yet it should stay on as well. Like, look at that. Overspray is no match. All right, so one side of the car is complete and I am actually super impressed with how good it looks. The finish literally looks like an OEM paint job. That looks so amazing. And on Mike's Audi R8 brake caliper, which by the way, I don't think anybody uses a more expensive product as the test dummy before they work on a Toyota. But anyways, that's what we had to work with. I went ahead and peeled it off again. The more it dries, the better it comes off. It actually peels off just like a vinyl decal. It doesn't peel off like plastic dip where it all stretches. It peels off like a sticker. That is insane. You can see just how much better it came off as I continue to peel it off. So thumbs up for the product. It works really well. I'll have it linked down below from Amazon. There's a ton of colors. So you can go pretty crazy. The GTR is gonna be getting a new color on the caliper as well. But I am loving it with the Brembo logo. They look so sick. And everything just looks factory. The overspray, you really have no overspray up front. I did a really good job taping it off. There's a little spot on the rotor, but that'll come right off. But that is looking insane. I even love it you know, with the bronze wheels, the white color and everything. That looks so awesome. And I love the little hint of red. The back, you know, they're just generic brake calipers. I wish Toyota put like big old Brembo's on the back. But I did a pretty good job scraping off the excess. So those actually look really good. Wrapped up with the project of painting the calipers on the Supra in a bright white. The color matches really nicely. But the way they sit right now, it's really hard to tell any difference. And of course, once they get a little bit dirty, they'll blend in perfectly. 
but I love it. I love the finish. It absolutely looks just like a professional powder coating or an OEM finish. That looks fantastic. And I love the red Brembo. That looks just so cool. The contrast with it with all the bronze accents and the black accents looks so sick. I love that. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video doing white calipers on the Supra. I love the new look. It has a really sick style to it. Definitely a little bit unique. And then again, I'll have all those products linked down below from Amazon, super inexpensive. And quite honestly, the hardest part was just cleaning them and taping them up. It was very easy to paint and they look fantastic. I'm really blown away with this product. So anyways, that is it. A nice little subtle touch for the Supra. Comment down below, why do you think I did this? But that's it guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next video.